Okay, um, hello. It's Freya. Right now, I'm on the PTR. It is almost 2 p.m. on Friday, August 25th. Um, I want to discuss the mercy changes. Not as extensively as some people might want, but I'm going to discuss what I feel about it and why. First of all, um, her pistol got a upgrade in damage when in her new ultimate, Valkyrie. I think that's fucking amazing. And I know that they're going to nerf the unlimited ammo, because it has unlimited ammo right now. Um, they're going to nerf the unlimited ammo for sure, because people are going to complain that Mercy's not a DPS, and that she doesn't deserve that much damage, but... Mercy's needed a buff f for a very long time, I think. When Jeff made that post earlier, he said that what happens right now is that Mercy players, they tell their team to go in, they tell them to die, and then she hides, and then goes out and reses. And what that means is that everyone bases their respect or their need for mercy on her resurrect and I absolutely agree that that's how people look at her um, I've played competitive matches where I've healed I don't I don't know upwards of 20,000 damage and my team always complains of me not healing and then when I get a good res they're like they always, they always please they're always pleased and like oh yeah you rezzed or good res or whatever but it's it's not good to base a healer on one ability, you know? Like, Ana, she's a very well-rounded healer. She has a sleep dart that provides some CC. She has a grenade that heals and damages enemies. She has an ult that buffs someone. And just... She's a great healer. And what Mercy had going for her was only her res, according to people. Me, personally, I love I loved Mercy. I love playing her, I love everything about her, because she was one of the more mobile supports, and um, she heals for a lot, and her ult's really good. But I do not think that it's wise to base her on one ability. I mean, I guess it's required to base her on one ability, because people only really care about utility, and not so much the rest. Um, anyway. The new mercy changes. I'm gonna go back to hero select and we can discuss this. Her staff is the same, so she heals and damage and gives a damage boost. Her um pistol is the same except when ultimate form. Guardian Angel is the same. Angelic Descent is the same, and her passive uh is not her old passive used to be that when she's not taking damage, she starts to regen HP, but now it's a constant heal, which I think is fucking amazing, because what if you're getting chased by a Genji and you have no one around to help you? You're slowly regaining health every time he's, he has to reload or something like that, so it's really good. Um, things that have changed are her ultimate and her resurrect. Her resurrect is now on a uh, another key an E, it's her E, and it has a cooldown of 30 seconds, but you can only revive one teammate, which I, I don't necessarily hate. I actually like it for tempo plays, and it also makes it easier to keep track of like who you're resing. Because I know sometimes when I played her on live servers, I would get stressed out if I miss uh, someone in the, the five man res or something because of like a glitch or whatever. So this is very good for tempo, and also if you are if you need to resurrect that one tank, or another healer, or that one DPS that's doing everything, so it's, I love that. I love that they put it on another ability. And her ultimate. You get to fly, which in itself is fucking dope as hell. Um, and while in your ultimate, your pistol is unlimited ammo, and it does bonus damage. Also your healing staff and your damage boost attached to nearby enemies I mean nearby allies so I'm gonna res this guy then I'm gonna press ult I can fly for 20 seconds and then my healing beam attaches to nearby allies and my damage boost 
Also, my pistol has unlimited ammo, which I'm pretty sure they're going to change, because that just seems... I don't know. She does deserve a damage buff, for sure, but um, unlimited ammo just seems like a little too much to me, but her other changes I love. Okay. Um, yeah. I just, I think that this Mercy, the new Mercy, is going to change the meta, and... They have been, I mean, Blizzard has been slowly changing the meta with, like, getting rid of the dive comp and all that, and I really think that these changes are going to do very well for the meta, and that people are going to stop hating Mercy Mains, because we don't deserve the hate, okay? <laughs> I don't solely main Mercy. I was going to upload a video talking about mains, but my internet is just so shit that I can't upload it um, in one day. So I've been working on that, but eventually I will get it up and hopefully that'll be before the Mercy changes go live, but we'll see. Um, my main point in this video is saying that I adore the Mercy changes. I just think that the unlimited ammo on her pistol could use a nerf. But everything else, I think that she definitely deserved. Um, She's going to get the praise that she deserves now when people pick her in Hero Select instead of people actually just getting super angry. I, I just don't... I've had experiences where I join a game and I pick Mercy and someone's like, oh great, another Mercy main. Like, I don't exclusively play Mercy, but yes, she is my my top um, most time played on Hero. I, I just... I really hope that this is a good change for her and that Blizzard gets what they want and what they want is happy players and uh, a good community and right now Overwatch has one of the worst communities I've ever seen just because of the toxicity and all that shit but this game has such a potential to go somewhere and it is going somewhere in the competitive scene but um, toxicity wise it could use a a little uh, push and they're working on that as well with the the bands and the stuff like that but yeah I think we're done here I love the new mercy and I sincerely hope that this helps with the meta